Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Screeny. Storage Wars captivates viewers with the elements of surprise. When buyers bid on these units, they really have no idea what the contents are worth. If they're lucky, they'll get a glimpse at what's inside before placing an offer. Sometimes they're left down and out of pocket, but on other occasions the dankest, darkest containers can look like busts but hold some seriously valuable items. Join us as we take a look at 10 Trash Containers with Hidden Gems on Storage Wars. Before we begin, do us a favor by clicking that like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a video on your favorite TV shows. Number 10 model example at this point it's a disaster because i'm not finding anything good barry weiss couldn't have looked more disappointed when he shelled out 275 dollars on a unit he had hoped for the best but when the doors opened he was met with a whole lot of salon junk that had been left to rot weiss was going to chalk that one down to experience when he happened to stumble across something quite unique during the clear out underneath all the worthless rubbish was a model grand piano after a little TLC, the instrument scrubbed up well and was sold for an impressive $11,625. That's not bad considering Weiss initially thought he was going to be out of pocket. Is it us or are we in the wrong business here? It might be time to visit an auction or three. Number 9. Hawkeye Hester. I don't know. I'm not sure. They think I'm not interested, but I'm interested. But I've got my own set of tricks. Dave Hester is one of the most notorious cast members of Storage Wars, known for his bullying tactics. When he knows that other people are bidding on a container, he'll bid up the price of it just to make it difficult for them. He might not even want it, but he gets a kick from seeing people struggle. Nice, huh? Annoyingly, Hester also does pretty well for himself. After looking at one unit that seemed to be full of broken vending machines, it seems like a bust. However, Hester soon noticed that behind all of the broken metal were some brand new vending machines that had never been used. He managed to snap the units up for $1,300 and sold the working machines for a tidy $28,000. Not bad for a quick deal, is it? It's true what they say, nice guys really do finish last after all. Too bad for the other bidders, but their loss is Hester's gain. Number 8. Buried Treasure That's a little fancy ride. We can make our way up over there. I hope so, because you know we like riding in style. Fans might remember that Barry Weiss had a short-lived spin-off show called Buried Treasure for a little while. Unfortunately, the show was a complete failure and Weiss soon returned to Storage Wars. Just prior to leaving to film his standalone series, the businessman managed to make himself some serious cash. The storage unit itself looked completely messed up. Not only was it falling apart, but it was full of broken car and motorcycle parts. What good was going to come of that? It definitely seems like it was going to be a wipeout judging by the state of the unit, but how wrong Weiss was. It soon became apparent that after a good rummage through the hall, there was money to be made. The lucky guy sold some of the parts for $10,000 profit. Jealous? Yep, us too. Number 7. Jared's Girl I told you it was a good unit. No, you didn't. Yeah, I told you, remember? <laughs> you were nervous. I wasn't nervous at all. Jared Sheldon's and wife Brandy thought they were on to make some big money when they purchased a unit packed full of furniture. They had hoped to sell it to some of their female customers, but it soon became clear that it was just a load of rubbish. It was a mirage, said Jared on the show. It looks good from the door, but as soon as you got inside, it's crap. The duo was half-heartedly looking through their expensive mistake when Brandy discovered two green naked lady bookends and lamps in a dresser drawer. They were actually pieces by artist Arthur von Frankenberg and sold for around $2,900. Thankfully for Jared and Brandy, they managed to turn a profit after all, when it looked like all hope was lost at first glance. It was an unusual find and one they desperately needed to save the day. Number 6. Amazing Ivory you can see the yellowing, which is natural ivory. That's what's more, good. Nice. more desirable, yeah, right? Yeah, it makes it more desirable. Nice. Ooh. 
Cousins Jorgen and Kristen are two of the most entertaining buyers on the show. They're always in good spirits, happily working to find something that evens out their bank balance. It looks like they'd made an error on this unit full of household junk. As they were sorting through the items, they stumbled across a shoe box full of intricately carved ivory dominoes and ornaments. They quickly sought out an expert for advice who warns them of the dangers of selling ivory in different cities as the trade is now illegal. Luckily, as the dominoes were old, they were able to sell them right there in Miami for an estimated $750. The two were over the moon with their purchase, which saw them make a profit on what would have been a loss. Ivory products are frowned upon by many people though, as you have to kill elephants to get it. Not cool. Number 5. Thank you very much. I just hit the jackpot. Joseph just doubled my profit by telling me I need to separate these newspapers. I could have cheated myself out a huge amount of money. If you buy a storage unit for a few hundred bucks and open it to see nothing but boxes upon boxes of dusty old newspapers, then you're probably going to want to cry. That's not the kind of paper you're looking for unless you're moving house and need something to wrap up the china with. We all thought that Dave Hester was getting some serious comeuppance for being such a D-bag, but of course, Hester came out on top once again. Only Hester could spend $750 on a unit full of newspapers only to discover that he was sitting on a gold mine. The papers turned out to be authentic tabloids from the day Elvis died. Each one covered the story on August 16, 1977. When Hester got them all valued, he almost fell over. They were worth $90,000. The king of rock and roll really got Hester dancing with that one. We'd be doing a jig if it was us too. Number 4. Ready Player One There's nothing quite like shelling out a small fortune just to find a bunch of wires staring you in the face. Reen Nezhoda started to sweat when he eyed up his $1,500 investment. The storage container clearly hadn't been visited in quite some time, and at first glance, it looks like a bunch of stuff from the 80s that had been left to rot over the years. Luckily for Nezhoda, it was expensive junk and turned out to be one of the best hauls in the show's history. Over 3,000 classic games and consoles were left in the container by the previous owner, who was nowhere to be found. There were unopened original games for consoles like the Sega Genesis and Nintendo 64. It's safe to say that the finds made Nezhoda's accountant very happy. It might be time to search the loft and see if you've been sitting on any hidden treasures for the last couple of decades. Number 3. Pure Gold I heard it took three people to carry it out of there. It had so much silver and gold in it. This find is one of the most famous in Storage Wars history, especially as it was so random. A private buyer that preferred to stay anonymous used Dan and Laura Dotson's American Auctioneer service, the very same one featured on the show, to bid a meager amount on a unit. When the buyer won, they hauled their cookies down to the container to see what was inside. Among some of the usual junk that you'd expect to find in an abandoned storage unit was a box so heavy that it took three people to carry it out. Out. No one could have predicted that what lay inside was $500,000 worth of pure gold doubloons dating back to the 16th and 19th century. What do you think? Lucky find or was the buyer privy to what was inside? Either way, it's a hell of an investment that got them half a million dollars for absolute peanuts. The segments may have not aired on television as the buyer wanted to remain unknown, but it still made national news. Number 2. Slithery Surprise Is everybody curious what's going on in here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you, are you yeah, cool with these right guys sticking around? Yeah, yeah, I think I made a Come good on, choice. Brianna, let's see what you got. This next entry may have not been an incredibly valuable hidden gem, but it certainly was a surprise that's worth mentioning. Brandon and Lori were intrigued by a unit that had bright lights and white curtains blocking the view. Other buyers were interested too, but were ultimately dissuaded by the idea that it might contain illegal drugs. The couple bought the unit for a few hundred bucks, thinking they could at least make their money back selling the lights if that was the case. 
how wrong they were. Something was being grown inside, but it wasn't drugs. The curtains came down to show a snake farm. Breeders were using the unit to grow the exotic reptiles and sell them on. Lori called an expert who ended up buying all of them for $2,600, even though he valued them at $5,000. A nice profit, as the couple didn't have to take them back to their hotel to bed down for the night. Everyone's a winner this time around. Number one, missing money. I just heard about this story like a week ago, and first I was like, wow, that seems kind of like, huh, huh. But actually, um, I know the auctioneer who sold it, a good friend of mine, Dan. Dan Dotson with American Auctioneer. Yeah, so they put Dan it out Laura. there. Picture this. You buy a unit only to auction it off to someone else. The new buyer then contacts you to let you know there was over $7 million in cash inside. Wouldn't you just feel sick to the stomach? Dan Dotson sold the unit for just $500 to an unknown couple, who were then contacted by the original owner of the container. Needless to say, he wanted his money back and offered them $600,000 to return the rest of the money. They negotiated the price up to $1.5 two million dollars before giving the rest of the cash back to its rightful owner. Storage Wars stars Reen Nezhoda speculated that it was probably the right decision. After all, if you earned that money the old-fashioned way, you'd stick it in the bank, wouldn't you? The most likely reason it was hidden in a storage container is that it was either mafia or drug cartel property. These guys are probably lucky they got away with their lives, let alone 1.2 million dollars. Thank you very much for watching today's video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos on your favorite TV shows and tap one of the two videos on your screen for another amazing video.